Hello, this is Breakfast with John Kay and Sally Nugent. Good morning, just coming up to half past six and sales of second-hand goods are booming as many people look for more ways to save money. Nina is at a charity shop in Greater Manchester to find out more and I already saw you spot a couple of bargains. Morning, Nina. You know me too well. I'd like to say that when I come to charity shops, you'll find me perusing the classics in the book section, but you will not. As you well know, John and Sally, I'm a big fan of the chintz, aren't I? Especially the china. Have a look at this little bargain. So this vintage from Germany, five pounds. That would look beautiful on my shelf, but I've been told at home I've got way too many already. Um, charity shops are changing. Branding has become a big part of it. Uh, this is Molly the social media volunteer, and Bear, of course, um, who's a big part of your branding at Emmaus. Yeah, so Emmaus is all about community, so we really want to represent the people who make up Emmaus Mosley, but in times when we can't always do that, Bear's here, who's a familiar face that everybody recognises. And a good way of showcasing all of the items that you have on offer. Um, business is booming at Emmaus. It's, it's a global movement that was established in France. I've been looking at the history here in uh, the late 19th century. Lots of stores all around the world. The idea being redistributing wealth and cutting down on waste. And it's something that we're all buying into at the moment. So charity shops say overall there's been a 15% increase in sales over the past 12 months now over that period the british heart foundation alone say they've sold 28 million items and you might have heard of the online app vinted where you can buy and sell items well since 2021 they've gone from having 1.2 million members all the way up to 8 million so that desire to buy and sell instead of getting stuff for new is booming partly because we're all feeling skinter with inflation at around 10%. Is everyone a winner? Bamboo Loss has been finding out. Second hand, pre-loved, recycled. When it comes to clothes, more of us are seeking out bargains instead of always buying new. And where there are trends, there are business opportunities. First, the fashion blogger and advisor. Rosie has 4,000 subscribers who follow her tips on where and how to buy second-hand, like at this SCT charity shop in East London. Just walk into your local charity shop. You don't have to buy anything the first time, but just get comfortable in the space, get comfortable with rummaging a little bit. Um, it's not like going into a high street shop. It is a little bit different, and I personally like that about it. I find it quite relaxing. <laughs> There's not like blasting music, things like that. And then also there's some fa fantastic apps like Vinted where you can, um, sorry I got distracted because there's a girl trying the shoes that I really want on. <laughs> I find a pair of shoes that I love but then I wear them until they fall, fall apart so i constantly looking for like the next pair of shoes that I can wear to death. And the ones we saw you buy today, how much were they? They were £65. Bargain? I think so, I mean from what you said about them being 500 retail. <laughs> I'm very happy. I didn't know that. I just like the way they look. So Rosie, someone like me, where, where do you begin when you're presented with all of this choice? Um, I feel like you just got to dive in and kind of see what you can find. Um, with charity shops, often things can be like hidden. So just have a proper look because you can find like some real hidden gems sort of buried between two pieces of clothing. Okay. What kind of colours do you wear as well? I feel like that's also a great way to... So quite like something a little bit bright, something with a little okay. bit of colour, bit of character. I mean, you'd never tell from this jacket, would you? <laughs> so this is Levi's, so you know it'll be really good quality. Oh, OK. And how much is this? Seven pounds? Seven pounds, which is amazing. It's not bad, seven pounds. What do you think? Should you try this? Yeah, try it on for okay. sure. Right, let's give it a go. There we go. What do you think? So good. I love it. Really nice. What do you think? Tucked in, tucked out? I'm a tucked out person, personally. You're the expert. I'll go with you. <laughs> Rosie, thank you very much. The thing is, though, what if you're not sure where to get the best bargains? Maybe you don't have time and you may not have an expert like Rosie out shopping with you. Well, enter our next business, the online seller, Isabella. She started selling unwanted clothes on the app Depop to make some extra cash while studying. It's now her full-time business, with three staff and sales totalling £800,000 since 2015. So how does it work? For example, some of the items that I source might come from like warehouses. There are like 
huge warehouses in the UK full and full and full of vintage stock. Like, it's almost unimaginable. A lot of my pieces come from there. I have a buyer who is one of my full-time employees, and she goes around the country sourcing secondhand for me. I'll style the pieces, shoot the looks on my little tripod. Once I've shot it, then we list it on the app, and I aim to list 100 items a week or so. And small entrepreneurs like Isabella mean more business for big online selling platforms. Vinted is one of those seeing a surge. Its number of registered buyers and sellers in the UK has soared from 1.2 million two years ago to 8 million today. The, the growth of second hands, absolutely phenomenal. And, you know, a whole, a whole host of different reasons. But I think people are, you know, people are more and more wanting to sell on platforms like, like Vinted, you know, to make a bit of extra money, cost of living crisis, you know, it all, it, it all um, it's very understandable. But and on the buying side, people still want to buy items, but they want to buy more affordable items. Um, secondhand, you're often able to trade up to things that you wouldn't have been able to afford when, when they're new. And platforms like Vinted offer this vast assortment of, of, um, of choice and options um, to buy. And then, of course, there's the sustainability aspect as, as well. Of course, some people will always prefer to do it the old-fashioned way, rummaging and rifling through the rails, never knowing what bargains they may discover. And I have to say, I'm very much in that camp. Uh, this is Adrian, who here at Emmaus does the number crunching. How are sales at the moment? Uh, sales are uh, on the up. We've done very well. The last five out of the last six months have been uh, record months for us. Um, so we've been able to reinvest that money, um, able to reinvest that money on uh, getting some triple glazing to uh, make us more energy efficient. Perfect. That's what we're all trying to do at the moment, isn't it? To cut those energy bills down. And um, this is Hazel, who's the boss here. So Adrian's saying sales are going well. Is there anything in particular that you've noticed a shift in people looking for? Well, I think people are, uh, we are a, a charity supermarket, you know, we're a superstore. So I think we sell um, a, a range of household goods, but it's mainly, I think, furniture. People are looking for affordable furniture. Um, we, we've got the, the biggest clothing uh, charity shop, and I think we've seen our sales increase in that. Four items for a fiver I've seen in there. Four for a fiver. I'll be yeah. disappearing quite shortly yeah. into there. And we've got to say good morning to the volunteers who make this place work. Morning to you, gang. And yeah. quickly, Hazel, are you seeing a shift in who's coming in? Well, a again, broader range of a yeah, demographic. we are, um, because, you, you, you know, you talked to Molly earlier about mm. the social media. I think that has really changed our demographic. We're seeing people coming from far and wide. Because we are a destination place, we've got the cafe, we've got vinyl, we've got the, the clothing and the bric-a-brac store. So I think people can come and spend the morning or sometimes a whole day here. And there's something, if you're 50-50 in a charity shop and you think, well, actually, here, for example, it's being reinvested in local homeless people, you think, oh, I'll go for it. So you, you make more of those spontaneous purchases, don't you? You do, because everybody that w lives and works here, I think people um, who shop at Enemaeus, um you know the retail they they see the people who are benefiting the money that it's being That's spent right. yeah. yeah thank you yeah. hazel we'll be back a bit later on but john and sally i wanted to get your verdict on what's my favorite charity shop purchase of the last year so this you'll have to let me know what you think guys i picked up for a fiver vintage 80s what do you think <laughs> I love it. I think that, do you think they're being polite, John, Sally? Yeah, no, I think it's brilliant. <laughs> it's a bit of a stretch at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Definitely approve that. Get me one, Nina. Love that. And if you've got, um, if you've got a <laughs> bargain, that? like your best charity shop bargain, yeah. take a picture of it. We'd love to see it this morning. Send it in and we'll share some of those a little bit later. All the ways to get in touch on your screen right now. WhatsApp's a really quick, easy way to get in touch with us this morning. 0330 123 